Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install Endless OS on your laptop or your desktop PC. Recently I made kind of an overview video about Endless OS and I'll leave a link to that in the description, but since then I've had a lot of people ask me to do a full install tutorial, so today that's what we're going to do. In this video, I'm going to be using this low-end, low-cost laptop here. It's got 64 gigabytes of internal storage, a dual-core CPU, and 2 gigs of RAM. It originally came with Windows 10, but I think Linux runs a lot better on it. But this tutorial will work for pretty much any laptop or desktop as long as it's running an x86 CPU from Intel or AMD. Now, there is a couple ways to go about installing this operating system, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to wipe the storage on your desktop or laptop and install Endless OS. But if you want to run it side by side with Windows, they do have a nice little installer that'll allow you to do that. You can set up a dual boot system as long as you have enough space on your hard drive. I'll give you a quick look at that, but in this video, we're really going to be flashing the image to a USB drive so we can install it on any PC. And by the way, when it's flashed to this USB drive, you could actually just run it from the USB to kind of test it out on any of your desktops or laptops. Now, in order to get this up and running, we're going to need a functional PC. A lot of people are going to be using Windows, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it from a Windows 10 PC. But if you're on Mac or Linux, you can also download the image and flash it with an application like Etcher. But the main thing you're going to need is a USB drive. Now, for their English fully loaded version, it's around 14 to 15 gigabytes, so I do recommend at least the 32 gigabyte drive. If you want their base image without all the applications installed, it's only about 3 gigs, so an 8 gig drive would work. I'm going to be using a SanDisk USB 3.0 32 gigabyte thumb drive that cost about 7 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description in case you need one. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to move over to my Windows 10 PC. I'm going to show you how to get Endless OS on your USB drive, then we'll move back over to the small PC, and I'll show you how to install it. So let's go ahead and install Endless OS. Like I mentioned, there are two ways to do this, and most people will be coming from Windows going to this Linux distribution. So I'm going to be using a Windows 10 PC. All links for everything that I mentioned in this video will be in the description. So the very first thing we need to do is decide how we want to install Endless OS. We can head over to their website, EndlessOS.com, forward slash home. We'll go to the free download section. There's a Windows installer over here, and since we're on Windows, we're going to be using this. But if you're on a different operating system, let's say Mac or another Linux system, you can download the image from here and flash it with your favorite flashing software. I would personally use Etcher. So you just download the image. I'm going to go with the English full version here, or you could go with the basic and install the stuff that you really need. Now with this method here, in order to download it, you will have to install a torrent client like BitTorrent. That's what I use, but it'll download. You'll have an image. You can flash it to your USB drive using Etcher, and Etcher does work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So that's probably the easiest way to do it if you're using a Mac to get this installed. But since we're on a Windows machine, and many people will be, we're going to download the Windows installer. Now what this is going to allow us to do is either install it side by side with Windows or flash it to a USB drive. So we have the Endless Installer EXE downloaded. We'll go ahead and open it up. And from here, from this main menu, if you want to install it to your hard drive like it sits side by side with Windows, we can choose Install Endless. You can go with the Basic Edition or the Fully Loaded Edition. Choose your language from here. Download Full Version. And from here, we can choose how much storage we want to allocate for Endless OS on the hard drive we have Windows installed on. Now, this hard drive is almost full, so the maximum I'm getting here is 32 or 64. I want to choose 64. I'll click Next. It's going to download and install it. You can dual boot Windows like that. Now, personally, I'm not into dual booting, so I'm going to go ahead and close this down and we're going to reopen it. We're going to be flashing it to a USB drive so we can install this on a separate PC. I have some mini laptops laying around that I wanted to get this installed on. So it's in my download section, Endless Installer. And at the very bottom here, for advanced install options using an Endless USB stick, click here. So what I have here is a clean 32 gigabyte USB drive like I showed you at the beginning of the video. This is what I'm going to be installing Endless OS 2. We can actually just run it from this USB drive when we're finished just to try it out but we can also install it to our internal hard drive from this USB here. So from here, create an endless USB stick. Very easy. I'm going to go with the full version, English, download full version. It's already chosen the USB stick I have inserted into my PC, 
that 32 gigabyte drive. And for some reason, it's telling me that this is USB 1.0, but this is a USB 3.0 drive. I understand. We'll click next. It's going to download the operating system and it's going to install it to this USB drive for us. So we want to let this finish up. Once it's finished downloading, it's going to verify the image and then it's going to flash it to that USB drive. When this is finished, we'll have an installation USB that we can use on any PC. So when the process is finished, you'll be prompted with a screen that looks like this. Our USB drive is now ready to use in another PC or this one here. We can test it out just by running it directly from the USB drive. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Plus, I'm going to go over installing it to your internal drive. I'm going to wipe the drive on these little mini laptops and install Endless OS. It's a pretty simple process. All right, so here's the laptop we're going to be installing Endless OS to, and here's the USB drive we just flashed with the image or the operating system. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into one of the free USB ports on the laptop. And what we need to do in order to boot from the USB drive is access the BIOS or the boot menu. Now, there are some changes that might need to be made in the BIOS in order for you to boot correctly from the USB. And I'm going to show you exactly what I changed. But in order to get into the BIOS on this specific Lenovo laptop, I need to press F2 while the system's booting up. In order to get to the boot menu, I can press F12. Now your system may be a little different. HP, Dell, Lenovo, and Asus all have different hotkeys to enter the BIOS and the boot menu, so you might need to do a little research. Like I said, on this one, for the BIOS, it's F2. For the boot menu, it's F12. Now right off the bat, I'm going to be entering the BIOS because I need to change one setting. I need to turn off secure boot for this laptop here. So from within the BIOS, I'm going to find security and you can use your arrow keys for navigation. And we're just going to disable secure boot. As you can see, it's disabled here, and your laptop or PC might not need this, so I would actually recommend trying to boot from that USB before disabling this. But I know for a fact that this little Lenovo here needs it disabled to work correctly. And you can also change the boot order to always boot from the USB. But for this video, we're just going to boot from it one time. If you do have to disable secure boot, make sure you save the changes. The option will be listed at the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and boot up one more time. And while the computer's starting up and I have the USB plugged in, I'm going to press F12 a few times. This is going to bring me into the boot menu. Now we can choose to boot from that USB drive. My internal hard drive is listed here, but we want to boot from that USB drive that we just flashed with Endless OS. And mine was listed as a SanDisk USB drive. Once Endless OS starts up, it's going to be running from this thumb drive here. Just give it a little time to get into the operating system. It will take a bit longer from the USB than it would from an internal hard drive. But once it's up and running, you'll be presented with the welcome screen. I'm going to choose English as my language here. So the very first option. And now we have two options. We can either run Endless OS from the USB drive to kind of give it a test drive here. And I do recommend trying this out first just to see if you like the operating system. And this method here will not overwrite anything on your PC. It's all going to be running from that USB drive so your data is safe on the internal hard drive. This is just a great way to safely test out the operating system. But in this video, I want to install it to the internal storage of this laptop here. Now this only came with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. That's my internal hard drive. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe it completely and install Endless OS. That's the only operating system I'm going to have on this laptop. So we're just going to click next here. And now I'm going to choose my internal hard drive. Yours might be listed different than this, and I'm pretty sure it will be. This is a small, lightweight, low-end laptop with only 64 gigabytes of internal storage. This is my internal hard drive here and I want to install Endless OS to this drive here. There's a drop down menu in case you have multiple drives in your PC. Choose the correct drive you want to install to and click continue. Now this method here is going to wipe the internal drive. So if you have Windows or another operating system installed, it's going to be completely gone when we're finished with this. So I'm just going to sit back and relax and let this finish up. And once it's finished installing, it'll prompt you. We're going to click power off. Once the computer is completely shut down, we're going to remove the USB drive and power it back up. 
We no longer need this USB drive anymore because Endless OS is on the internal hard drive of this computer now. So you're actually finished. It's now installed on your PC. It's going to give you a little welcome screen. I'm going to kind of walk you through it, but I'm going to connect this to my game capture so we can get a better look at this screen. So here it is. It's just a quick initial setup. It's going to walk you through everything. I'm going to choose English, United States, my English keyboard. Now I want to go ahead and connect to one of my Wi-Fi networks. Set my time zone. You can connect your online accounts. I never end up doing this. And add your username. And there it is. You're now running Endless OS on your PC. So we've already connected online. Lots of great apps already pre-installed, but if you want to install any more, we can go to More Apps. This is their Endless App Store. We have a learning section, games, learn to code, multimedia. I recently did kind of an overview video. I'll leave a link in the description to that if you want to check that out. We can see our installed apps from here. All updates are handled through the App Store here. All that's really left to do is start using the operating system. Now there are a few settings that you can mess around with. Let's say you want to use dual screens or something like that. We can go down to our little user icon in the bottom right hand corner. Settings. And from here, we have pretty much everything we need. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can change the background. Details, devices. This is where our screens are going to be located. So I'm actually using two screens here, the screen on the laptop and an external monitor. I can mirror them, single display. It's already detected that 32 inch monitor I'm using as my secondary monitor. Change the resolution, removable media. If your PC has Thunderbolt built in, I mean, it's a fully functional turnkey operating system and I personally really like it. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching and hope you try out Endless OS. All links for everything I mentioned in this video are in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.